All right, guys, Sunday fun day. Anyway, went to the flea market. So I went to the flea market, uh, O'Reilly's, and then uh, Harbor Freight. Anyway, flea market fine. Please easy wrench. U.S. patent, made in U.S.A. Um, anyway, they work uh, pretty good. I've already used them. So, comes in uh, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought they were pretty cool. Seven bucks at the Schwab meet. So, anyway, so yeah, got one at 10, offered him seven. He said, okay. And then I bought this. It's a half inch, half inch drive impact. So I got a three eighths drive. So, as you can see, they're basically the same. Um, yeah, this is 883, that's 880R, whatever. Anyway, they're both brushed, so I bought this with a battery, not not this battery. Battery, it's on the charger. It's a little two amp hour battery. So I got that for forty bucks at the Shavat meet. So I always wanted a half inch drive one. I was gonna buy one. I've been looking at them on eBay and Amazon. So anywho, so now I got one. Um, choose. It works. So wrenches and that. Not a bad deal. Then I went to the Harbor Freight. Picked up one of these three in one portable power packs. Um anyway, been trying to get one of these since I got that tractor because uh running a battery a battery charger and an uh, extension cord all over the yard, kind of a pain. Um, also bought another set of these. I actually don't like these drill bits, but I guess they, they kind of work. So for 10 bucks at Harbor Freight, bought a, a, uh, what do you call this? A file that is <laughs> bent, apparently. I didn't see that when I bought it. But... So to get a Harbor Freight. So uh yeah. And about this five thousand pound capacity ATV winch with automatic load handling brake. Anyway, uh this is the newer newer style one. Um it's the newer model number item number six one 61605. The other one is an older model. Um, but anyway. So it was 140 bucks for this. 139. $10. Uh, $4 for that. This ended up being 46 bucks. And then I bought these little trays for my toolbox. So I can try to organize some stuff a little better in some of my like soldering drawer so basically these these might uh, they're probably not going to fit um, with wise but anyway so got that crap um, and a free light of course another one because when they're free they're free so yeah, anyway, I got about 20 of those stupid things. Um, what else? Oh, I did buy a belt. Oh, I bought some of this too. Heat shrink. Um, because that stuff's a little thicker. So right now I'm trying to figure out... I got a belt. So everything turns, spins, everything runs good. I'm getting current out of here. 
but it's not telling me whether it's negative current, positive current, and then this wire somewhere is broken inside there. So if we use this chingus, it doesn't really say AC or DC. So this must be alternating current. This must be direct current. So we'll click it on there. Take these off. Probe this one in there somewhere. And that one. So 26 volts. Hmm. Kind of not thinking that's true. There you go. 11 point. Let's see, 10 amps? Okay. So it's 11 point or 12.67 amps or volts. So let's leave that there. Touch this here. We're getting 12.6. That's weird. The key's off. Turn the key on. And we're getting the same. So this one's constant hot. In this wire, I'm not sure what this wire is. Let me just see something. Sorry, this is boring, but I'm really interested to find out what's going on. Quit going in that hole. So, anyway, we got nothing there. Put the key on, turn the key off, and we st still have nothing. Anyway, so I still got some diagnosis to figure out on this thing. Um, but yeah, so far it's working, everything's working. Oil pressure gauge works. Um, getting about 25. Uh, 25 PSI at idle. This works because it was at 190 or 180. Um, anyway, so let me. Uh, I'm gonna hook up a uh, the voltage chingadera, and uh, yeah, go from there. Anyway, just wanted to go over what I bought today. Walking around, shot me and. Uh, Harbor Freight. So we'll see how this thing works. So you turn it on, green. Green is go. Light flashes. So apparently, when it's plugged in, it's just green. Charge fully before use to prevent damage. There was another one with an air compressor. I don't like the ones with the air compressor. Um, yeah, I just don't like the ones with the air compressor. I'd rather just have a charger. Anyway, but yep, yeah, that's going to be it. That's my little swap meet and uh, whatever uh, Harbor Freight haul, as you could say. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up this mess, clean up all this wiring, um, and uh, yeah, go from there. So, and then uh, later today, it's kind of chilly out today, it's 11.15, I'm going to crawl under here, clean this up under here, after I clean this up over here, and I'm going to install that lowering kit thing. So, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of hard with this lens, but it's kind of raked pretty high, so see how high the wheel and tire is but anyway that's gonna be it all right guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe do what you guys do thank you for subscribing later